first off, I'd just like to say a few words about Karen. And I ask people to give her tribute words that recognize or describe Karen. One person said, feisty, in the best, worry, in the best way possible. Genuine, driven, passionate, tenacious, spunky, principled. But my favorite, my favorite four-lettered word describes Karen, and that is, she had grit. And I love people with grit, and she had it. And I will tell you, I will miss Karen for this reason. Everyone knows that she used to be known for the word no. And I just wanted to get her to yes just one time. And I will certainly miss that, because I was just looking forward to that opportunity of working with her, of recognizing her grit, using her as a mentor, as a friend, but I just wanted to get her to yes one time. I also want to thank the voters who talked to me at 6,000 doors as I walked door to door to help understand their concerns and their needs. I also want to thank my wife. When I was walking, and I would send her a text, and uh, she'd say, I'd, you know, I'd text her and say, I'm walking, and she goes, you don't need to send that text. I know what you're doing. I want to make sure that this council works together in a productive and positive way. I want to work at cleaning this city up. I want to help grow this city in a positive and productive way. I've listened to the speakers that spoke tonight, and I want to make sure that I understand and their concerns and their challenges for us. As the city council, we make important decisions. It is so important for people to feel heard. I want us to work together to heal and create a sense of unity. And I will always promise, I promise to all of you that I will always listen. And I just want to share with you just one quick story of my first exposure of being mayor. I was at a high V, I was checking out, and a woman leaned over to me and said, ah, you're, you're the new mayor. You know, I was so excited, I kind of puffed up and I was so excited about that. And I said, you know, well, how did you know? And she goes, it was obvious from the 20 newspapers you had right there. But she also said, she also said, with a twinkle in her eye and a smile that was genuine and kind, she said, never get too big for your britches. And I think that's advice that I want, and please hold me accountable to that. Thank you all.